Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This video belongs to Jago Investor Wealth Club. This is the fourth part of the course Estate Planning and in this video we are going to learn what exactly is a will and what is will creation and some very important points related to will. So let's start with the question what exactly is a will? If you see the legal definition, a will is a legal way to pass your wealth to someone in desired manner. So let us take this example. Let us say there is a guy and his family consists of wife, one daughter and one son. And he has some assets like he has a house and some money lying in saving bank account. And through a will, he wants to pass on this wealth to all these three people in a desired manner. So he can write in a will that he wants to pass on his house to his wife. He wants to pass on 25% of the money to his wife. He wants to pass on 50% of the cash in saving bank account to his daughter and the rest money to his son. Now, if you want to pass on the wealth in this manner, he can clearly write this down in a will. And after his death, when a will will be executed, the wealth will be passed in the same manner. So now let us see that what exactly goes into a will. When you write a will, how, what are the components of it? The first thing you have to mention is the personal information like name, age and address. The second point is declaration of sound mind. One has to clearly define that he is of sound mind and there is no pressure on him or her to write this will. Then details of property and all the documents and then in what proportion all those assets are divided and at the last signatures are to be done. So on a very high level these are the components of a will. Now we will see some of the important rules of will. A person has to be at least 21 years old at the time of writing the will. A will can be written on a plain paper. There is no specific format for writing a will. Registration of a will is not compulsory. A will can be changed multiple number of times. There are two witnesses which are required at the time of signature and once the main person writing the will does the signature, these two witnesses will also put their signatures. The will should be clearly dated so that it can be find out, it can be found out that when the will was written. And at the end, a will can also assign responsibilities. Many people think that will is only for uh, distributing the wealth, but one can also assign the responsibility. Like one person can say that, uh, his brother will take care of his minor son and he will be assigned 50 lakh rupees for that purpose. So even the responsibilities can be assigned through a will. Now we just learned that anyone can write a will and there is no specific format but hiring a lawyer is suggested and the reason for this is as follows. The first thing is that a lawyer will help you write it in a professional manner. He will use, he knows the tricks of writing a will, how to properly uh, form the sentences. So he has, he has the experience in this field and that is one big reason why one should consider hiring a lawyer. The second thing is that a lot of times the situations can be quite complicated. There, there can be too many assets, there can be too many uh, family members and uh, the situation can be really complicated and in that case hiring a lawyer will uh, definitely help. And the last thing is that if a lawyer is hired, he will draft the will in such a way that there are very lower chances, chances of confusion. So this is one big uh, reason why one should hire a lawyer. Now registration of a will is not compulsory but it is suggested that one should register a will. And the reasons for that is as follows. A lot of authorities in India demand a registered will. For example, Municipal Corporation of Delhi. They want a registered will. A unregistered will is not accepted. If a will is not registered, in that case, a person has to run around uh, here and there and they will, they will have to go to court. They will have to bring something called as probate, which we'll, which we'll see very soon. So registration of a will is suggested. Registration does not take, uh, does not uh, demand a lot of money. The fees is very, very less. Sometimes it is 
as low as 200 to 300 rupees and it can go as high as 2 to 3000 rupees maximum the next reason is that if a will is not registered at times transferring the property from one person to another person can be extremely expensive the fees for that can be as high as 4% of the property value so that is one more reason for registering a will and if a will is registered it means that a copy of uh, that uh, will is in court and there will be very high trust and less chances of suspicion no one will be able to claim that it's a fake will or uh, there are any alterations done by anyone so these are the top three reasons why one should consider registering a will now let us understand an important concept called ancestral property and ancestral property cannot be passed on by a will and ancestral property is four generation owned property which means that it was bought by your grand great grandfather and it is undivided till now these are some of the characteristics of ancestral property the important point to note here is that ancestral property cannot be passed on by a will so if you have acquired some wealth or some property from your father you can't just say in a will that that property should go to just some person just one or two person whoever is the legal hire of uh, of yours they will have a right in that property we'll see a quick example on this let us say that this is the great grandfather and he bought a house and after his death his son acquired the house from him now this guy had two children one son and one daughter after his death they both will acquire this house and let's assume that they both are living in that house now the first guy if you see on the left hand side uh, the first son he has two children and the lady the sister has one more child now in this case this house will be ancestral property for all these three people at the bottom now on the left hand side this guy cannot say that as per his will his share of the property should go to the daughter because this is an ancestral property it will actually belong to both of his children so the will will not be valid and this house being ancestral property will uh, will go to all the three guys so i hope this example has given a good idea of how ancestral property works now let us see some of the examples of will let us say that this is the guy and he has some assets like he has a house he has some shares he has some cash lying in saving bank account and in his family he has a wife son and daughter and he is no more what if he writes a will if he writes a will in a will that his wife should get the house 50% of the money his son should get 25% of the money and the daughter should get all the shares and 25% of the money in that case as per will the house will go to the wife 50% money will go to the wife 25% cash will go to son and rest all the things will go to the daughter so you can see that if a will is present the whole situation becomes so easy and there is no complication and there is no confusion at all I hope you have got a good understanding of what exactly is a will, how it is written and what can be done through a will. See you in the next video where we will discuss about succession laws. Thanks a lot.